it's a Wednesday night and you join me on a very sweaty midweek bonanza so yeah so I'm on a um, top pool it's just opened this week again it's been closed for two or three weeks something like that I think um, bloody hell a big cap just boshed out yeah, that was a decent size though um, for what I was saying then uh, yeah top it's just just reopened because of the precaution for the water quality or something and then really bloody well the way that come out then no wrong with that um, so yeah it's just opened on Monday um, so I thought I'd come down for a midweek bonanza um, got here about half five-ish something like that bloody red hot the sun's just going down now it's absolutely red hot so I've just had a little mess around with the, the mixers but can't get the fish going so I've just um, put the rods in now I'm just going to set the tent up there's no one else on um, Stu couldn't make it due to commitments at home so I'm on my jack like I say no one else on the water just me so good good we had the pick of the pick of the swims I come on here and like I say all fish were on top so I've just fished here because that's where they are so I'll just get my um, bivy set up because um, time is always against me when I do these especially now the nights are creeping in so I'm just going to get my gear set up um, I've just got my rods in and stuff I'll just get me and I'll show you where I'm fishing and all that gubbins and um, have a catch up well that's a nice start to the trip anyway <clears throat> seven o'clock this is probably about quarter to seven this rod's gone I've only been here an hour and a half fishing for about half an hour <laughs> that caught me by surprise that I've literally just put my bivy up put everything in my bivy I was just setting um, last little bit up on the table next to me and my rod going out look twice I thought nah it was absolutely the sun was belting down and a bloody catfish has took me bait it's only about don't know nine ten pounds or something Cracky little scrap, well, yeah. Um, was not expecting that rod to go then with the sun. It's just gone down now behind tree, so it's lively. So yeah, lovely start. Whoop, lovely start to the session. Must session. Don't know. Must be nine pound, ten pound or something. Not not hundred percent, but yeah, good scrap. Fish seem good condition anyway. The way that went. Not sure I forgot the camera tried to caught me that much off guard I tried to get the, the fight but I ended up landing it the next peg down to my left because it went under my line so I didn't want to tangle my lines up um, so yeah I'm after the cat really but I'll take a cat anytime I do like them Jesus so yeah I hope that's not the kiss of death and that's the only one again but that was off um, my right arm rod in that little alcove. So, ooh, plenty of time for another one, but well, let's see. Let's see. Oh, that's, at least that sun's gone in now. It's been absolutely sweltered. Um, and I had nothing munching off the top, but just was not expecting that go to go then. Wasn't expecting anything till about nine o'clock tonight at earliest. So uh, I've got my rod. I've redone my rod before I've done this. So rod's back in on the island, and um, yeah, see if we can get another. It's a good start anyway. Right, let's get it back. But yeah, I wasn't expecting that fish. Then I literally put my bivy up. And then I just got a little table that I put all my keys and stuff on. I just put my table down, dropped my keys on next to me, my bloody um, lab started going. I thought, nah, nah, no chance. Anyway, bloody right hand rod bent over double. So I tried to flip the little camera on, see if I could get the um, fight. I'm not sure I have, I've not even checked. But yeah, bloody, it wasn't that big, but it cracking, um, cracking fight as usual. So yeah, made up with that, good start. So it's only just gone seven o'clock now, so. What I'll do is I'll just show you where I'm fishing and um, and what rigs and stuff I'm using. And as you see, it looks like I'm using three rods, but not my middle one's just resting there because 
it was ready to spring into action when um, the floaters started going but they never did <laughs> so it's just plonked there I'm going to pack it away in a bit I'm going to try again in a bit just um, see now, it, now the sun's just going down see if I can get them feeding but I can't see it so I'm fishing one on the edge of that tree I think I've fished there before right in the middle um, I think Stu fished there as well on one of my vids he had one out of there so I've got one just on the edge of the tree just under it a, a tad and then the other one is over there um, the rigs that I'm using are the same as the ones at Micklewright's Flash on my last vid which is um, Ronnie Rig in a solid bag uh, so that's all I'm doing and oh and I've, I've got brought a bit more may brought, brought a bit uh, more maize with me out in the freezer so I've just um, put a handful of maize in as well just trying to empty my freezer a bit and it worked at Mickle right so I thought why not I'll bring it here and um, stick a little bit in so yeah so I'm just using a um, pop-up solid bag bit of maize bit of pellet a few boilies chucked in the bag and that's it and it's just done me um, that one cat one um, carp that one cat so hopefully um, I'll get a carp out as well that'd be nice not sure if, that, if you can see that well, in the middle of the screen I don't think it's in focus very good um, but it's bubbling away just behind me spot where it's about six foot away from where I'm fishing bubbling away so hopefully them bubbles will get a bit closer and a bit closer and end up on my solid bag the aerators have been put on again last time I come on they weren't in here been taken away but they've been put back in so they must have had a bit of an oxygen, oxygen crash or something, I don't know. But, um, they're on all the three um, spring and new pool as well, so they must be trying to aerate the water a bit. Probably a good thing with this heat that's been here this week, this heat wave. Oh yeah. I was going to fish down there because I was thinking the um, aerator would attract the fish, but when I walked up here and they were all on the top of that, nah, I'm going to try here. And I didn't see anything down there which was surprised. Right, I think I'm gonna make a brew. Um, I haven't even got my kettle out yet. Uh, I'm gonna make a brew and then I'm gonna have my tea and then it'll probably not be far off dark. Um, I'll have to get my head down early in case I get a bit of um bit of action through the night. I'm gonna have to get up at I've gotta be up at like quarter to six or something when I do these. There's not going to be that much time to do them because I reckon soon it's going to be too it's going to be dark in the morning when I've got to be off. So probably got a month left of doing these. Um, so I could do with trying to get on with Stu next week, no matter what the weather. We did go last week. Um, we went bobs and then we come back off holiday and then we went last week, but we went to farm pool and blanked. So we didn't we didn't do a bit or anything. Um, well, I did, I had a brief, but that was it. But um, it, it was pretty miserable, to be honest. Raining all the time, well, raining on and off and that. Right, I'm going to make a, make a drink and some to eat, and then um, might have a little catch up before dark. Can't beat a nice brew, especially the first one of the night, it's lovely. And I've got, um, what have I got for me? Tea. Butter chicken. Ooh, yes, butter chicken from Aldi. Nice them as well with some um, sandwich thins. So yeah, love it. I've got to pack that other rod up. Yeah, I don't think I can be bothered trying to get anything off the top. Um, they've all disappeared. Ah, uh, never mind. Oh, I heard just as a bleep as I was saying. Exciting. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on and uh, make me tea. There's only a bleep. Oh, here's my left rod. I see the line twitching. Oh, there must be something. Must be something feeding to me on my left rod. Right, let's, let's get some food made.
just making me grub then, it's about quarter past eight, it's just started to go dark, this light of pain behind me, it's in the wrong place. Um, and as I had that beep on my left rod, two minutes later I was just in the middle of cooking my tea, it's the lamp, and it screamed off, and it was um, a cat, another cat, still in the um, landing net, I'm just going to sort my tea out and then I'm going to unhook it in that. It's only a smallish one, but I'll have a look anyway. Ooh, not a bad start to the session. Only ever had one cat out of here before in the new stock. I've had two tonight. Even though I'm fishing for the, the carp, I'm not bothered. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, I was making tea then, we left one beat. And then five minutes later, I didn't even cook tea and it's um, gone with the cat. But uh, I just put turned the video on then. And um, I've not got my left hand rod back in, and I've just had a liner on my right hand rod. Just went up and down, so I don't know if someone's mooching around that one. So we'll soon find out anyway if I get another run. But yeah, another one on the solid bags. A bit smaller, it's probably only about eight pounds or something, seven or eight pounds. But I thought it was a carp at first, I was a bit gutted because it didn't because it didn't fight as like because it's only a smaller cat and it didn't really I thought at first thought oh, this is a decent carp. But then um, as I got closer in I thought, nah, it's, um, it's a cat. But it fought like a carp at first, I thought. This is a decent sized one. So, I was a bit gutted, but I'm not gutted, if you know what I mean. Because I really, I thought it was going to be a... I'd rather have caught like a 20 pound cat than this eight pound cat. But the fight, the fight was about the same. But yeah, I did actually think I was going to be a big carp. And I, I couldn't get his head up at, to see what it was. If it had come off, I'd have thought it was a carp. But yeah, not bad, uh, not bad start. Eight o'clock and um, two fish on the bank. Never had more than two fish out in a session on here, like on these overnighters. So if I can get one more run, I'll beat my record. Right, I'm gonna get this little chappy back and um, get my rod back out. Because, well, it's just gone dark now, so it's probably half eight now. So get this, let this go, get my solid bag done on my left rod. And then, fingers crossed for another fish. It's 10 o'clock. Nothing's happened since that last catfish. About 8 o'clock, whatever it was. The only thing that's happening, I'm getting attacked by midges now. Especially when I put my light on. Bloody midges are everywhere because I've got my bivy open. So yeah, I've just redone my rods again. I've just put a little bit more bait out. See now they seem to be eating, so on the munch a bit. So hopefully we'll get another cat or a nice carp or something. It's only 10 o'clock, I've got, got a few hours yet, got all night, so I am hoping for another fish, to be honest. Especially after having two early runs. I'm hoping for one more run. So, we'll, fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. There might be another update in the morning saying nothing's happened, but who knows, we might get one. Still no one's on, I'm on here on my own, so not competing with any other anglers so there's a good chance but we'll see we'll see you in the morning so either see you in the morning or later on with a fish fingers crossed excuse me 12 o'clock at night my left hand my left hand rods just gone as soon as he hit it I knew it wasn't a cat I've got myself a common. Just weighed it. Just I guess just a quick weigh uh twelve poundish. Just under actually. It's got a bit of a ghosty on the top of this one. Uh, on. Yeah, left left hand rod. Oh, thought it was gonna go then. Behaving a bit more than they do at Mickle Wright. Oh the lights just flickered so yeah made up now i've got my carp as well it's the most i've had out um in a night session on here since this year usually only get one fish maybe two and a third fish mint condition give a good scrap seem all right they seem fine the fish they're feeding well 
Um, I think I'm doing a bit better than normal because it's been closed and they must be they must have had not had much bait have they over the last few weeks so they must be hunting my bait out. So I've just redone my rod uh, back in now fishing. So if I don't get any more I'll still be happy. Yeah, that'll do me. Oh god, getting a bit of hay fever. Oh Jesus. Right, going to get this one back, get myself into bed. I'd nearly dropped off twice and both times I got a liner on that rod. And I thought, is, is that going to go there anyway? I'd got comfy again, just about to drop off and bloody screamed off. So, that might, that might be it. Whoa, what happened then? My battery must be loose. Right, there's a strobe effect. Right, let's get it back for sort my light out. It's just come light now. Been up since quarter to six, just made a brew and stuff. Um, now it's happened since 12 o'clock. Well, my alarm went off at quarter to six, and about five minutes later, I've just had a massive line on my left rod. Well, not massive, but bobbin's gone up and down, and it's not done that all night. So something was mooching somewhere in front of my rods, but. We'll see, it may still go, I've had a couple of late runs on here, but we'll see. Not really expecting anything now, but good good session, but just a bit disappointed I didn't get anything from like 12 o'clock last night. I was expecting, I was expecting a cat I think, but struggled getting sleep last night as well, it being so sticky. Uh, so I've not had that much sleep, well never mind. I'm just going to drink this brew and then um, make another one. Pack my tent. It rained a bit last night. It wasn't forecast, but it rained. So I'm just trying to leave my bivvy up for a little bit to dry it off. But I'm going to have to pack it up in a bit. It's because I've, I've got only got 45 minutes to get off now, really. So I've already started packing up and putting stuff out my bivvy ready. So we'll see if anything happens now until go, until we until we go. But not expecting anything. Coming up to half six and I'm almost packed up. A few little straddly bits for me bivy to take down. But time's getting on. Don't have much time in the, the morning on these midweekers, especially now when it's getting it's staying darker later. So I think we're gonna to have to end it there. Um, Got only got about 15 20 minutes fishing if that so i'm just going to pack the remaining bit of gear up and then my bivy and then um, i'm going to be off so i'm going to put everything away on the off chance that i get a run which <laughs> it's happened to me twice before and here in the last 10 minutes but it's one of them and i can't keep all my stuff out forever all my scales and everything are packed up now so yeah looks like looks like the three fish not Decent session, got what I wanted. I just expected another one after after off to it being off to a flyer. I just thought we'd get another fish, but there you go. So thanks for watching anyway, and um, I'm out again Friday. Not sure where. Got to make the most of this weather. Uh, so yeah, don't know where I'm going Friday. Well, I might be even with Stu if he can get time off. He doesn't usually do Fridays but I think he's, he's gasping to get out but I might go to that other water yet workout video I don't know so hopefully hopefully it'll be a limb water and I'll get a video done or I'll catch something at least but until then um, thanks for watching and see you next time